Hello and welcome to the second semi-final race of the Fire Red Leaf Green 2023 Any Percent Tournament. My name's Amoeba and I am joined by the wonderful, the magic, the great G-Shark 54. How are you doing? Hello there, I'm doing great. I'm just, I'm super excited for this race. It's the semi-final, I mean this whole tournament so far has been just above me on last year's and I think this, seeing this race kind of puts into perspective because these are all three potential winners of the tournament and they're all yeah. having to race each other the round before finals. This is this is definitely a finals quality race that we're getting early for sure. Um McQuing is the number one seed for this tournament. Um currently in part two. Oh they're gonna be away. Uh, Wave Warrior, definitely a record contender, actively going for the record right now. Math Genius is a multifaceted talent for Fire Red Leaf Green with good PBs in any percent and round two. And by good, I mean better than me in both. <laughs> I mean, he is what? He's better than most people in both, I would say. Yes. Like... Yeah, very recently, he got the round two. Well, he got second place in round two and was like a second off record or something awful. Yeah, that was. <laughs> that's that's such a good punch. <laughs> It was, I mean, I would say, ar arguably, he is, like, of both, he is, like, probably the, like, at least top three. Mm -hmm. Like, if you consider both categories, what, like, him, Pokeguy, and and him? Yes. But yeah, this is a, this is a stacked race. Uh, Wave's been on an absolute tear this tournament. Um, there's won every race he's been in, with really good times in every one of them. Uh, I don't exactly know how McQueen got... Oh, no, I do know exactly how McQueen got pot 2. That was arguably a really rude thing to say. Uh, McQueen got looked out of pot 1 um, by virtue of me YOLOing a faster champ fight and getting it. And getting, getting two seconds one. faster. Yeah, <laughs> I bopped him into pot 2. Uh, so the only reason McQueen is even in... Like, that should have basically been me. I, uh, I got rewarded for playing Risky, but yeah. And honestly, uh, right, what a reward to not have to fight Wave Warrior and Math Genius. Yeah. Which, by the way, Mockwing and Math Genius fought last round, so this is a partial rematch. It is, yeah. If everybody does early search, isn't it just normal search? I have, believe everybody's doing late. Everyone is doing late. I, yeah, we, do, uh, we double checked that beforehand. There is also whispers of a gentleman's agreement between all three runners. Uh, I will not go into what that is yet to not spoil the surprise, but it is interesting. Oh, I don't even know what it is, damn. Oh, do you know not- ooh, okay. No one told, no one told me anything. Oh. Oh, we, I think we discussed it, but I think you were off to go and get your bagel, so that's quite cool. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Cool. Man, I, asked Matt, I asked Matt if they were still doing it, and he said yes as far as he knows. So hey, dude, if I, knew, if I knew there was some juicy stuff going on in here, I would have waited on the bagel. <laughs> uh... But yeah, let's have a while we're going into the rival fights. Let's have a look at what kind of turtles we've got here. Waves is pretty solid. Defense is a little bit low, but then he's rash. Uh, speeds 28 is very nice. Macwings is definitely the best, I'd say. 30 speeds just great for a race. Um, defenses are very solid. Rash 16 might suck a little bit, but hey. Uh, Mac, uh, math genius is I'd probably say is the worst, but math also is not a fan of grinding for great. No, Turts, he, so. Math Genius historically will take whatever Squirtle he can get and it'll just work for some I, reason. Um, <laughs> and the more I look at his load, yeah. to be fair, it's not as bad as I first thought. I, the 25 speed is throwing me off a lot, but realistically, uh, you that's just... That's the only thing wrong with it. Yeah, you're pressing X speed on Blaine and Sabrina and that's it. Yeah. Uh, he's actually it, got really solid defenses. His I attack is almost perfect. <laughs> So there's two there's two HP thresholds that don't get talked a lot, about a lot. Uh, that's 20 and 24 HP. 20 you'll get uh, 39 max HP on route on level 13 for route uh, route three. And at 24 you'll get uh, you'll get 42 max HP on uh, level 14 for route three. So the both are pretty beneficial because it means you're in torrent just that slight bit longer. Uh, it's obviously not the biggest deal in the world, but having that is super nice. So being above, I mean, just 20 in general is a pretty good threshold for HP. Huh? But uh, right now, I'd say, yeah, really, any, like, all three of them only have kind of like one small issue with Us? their squirrels. 
Quite interesting Wave's going to take the second kill here and get his bubble. Not really getting a benefit uh, speed EVs wise, I don't think. Yeah, Unless late surge throws him in. Yeah. Uh, Eggman's actually made a great point in chat that 25 speed is apparently 28 for late surge. Um, I don't know, I'll be honest. I don't know anything about late surge. Oh, yeah, surge. so you do. Uh, your higher levels for. You're higher level for lane, so it it doesn't matter as much. Um, yeah. I think I, I don't know if you're higher levels for Sabrina. I really don't know the late surge route as and well. I presume if he's going for the double candy before Koga to get the better range, then yes, you're gonna. So those are the, like the candies that you would normally use before Erica. Yeah, but then... so you'll have a higher level for Blaine. So yeah, that would probably make less of a difference. But Sabrina, I wouldn't have thought you'd be any different. Um, it, you're still, I think, you might be at a slightly higher, uh, like, you might be level up slightly, so I'm pretty sure you level up slightly sooner, uh, but I don't know exactly when that level up is. We'll see, we'll see what happens. So yeah, Wave, uh, a little bit behind the other two at the moment now, but does have Bubble. Um, that will save, uh, at least a turn on Sammy, and an effective turn or two if he goes for any catches um, because it's pretty reasonable to take double tackle to damage the catches in races yeah bubble like early bubble still i i think it's still even just a good strat in any percent unless you're going for like one 159 and even then it's arguable you can See, save actually, so much time by getting early bubble i actually disagree i think uh, people put a bit too much faith in it, especially when the speedy EVs aren't very useful. Um, it takes a long time to three hit a, a random Pokemon. That's, no, that's, I, that's kind of fine for a race. The consistency of it's really nice for a race, but yeah, it's it, it's a little weird. Oh wow, pretty, that was a good roll on a level three yeah. bird. Oh yeah, and he's he's still going for the yeah. second tackle to guarantee it. Oh my god, he's Oops. so they're both so low. <laughs> Yeah, they're both at risk of a crit here. It's a very reasonable tackle for Math Genius. He doesn't even mind if he crits because then he just gets early bubble. And like, that's not the end of the world if you get early bubble for two. Right. Mockwing not getting punished for not double tackling that rat. And Wave getting rewarded for bubble, which is a very high chance catch. That, like, that's just above 33. Oh my god, this is 78% <laughs> catch rate, by the way. It's like just barely above 30, like 130 HP. At least it was an instant pop. Like, uh, it almost feels annoying to get no rolls, but at least that's actually quick. But yeah, so that's... I think that's math with a bird. And Waves Matthew's got just had a bird. Math, uh, Mark Wing's going for his second catch right now. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. He's getting punished for the one tackle. Wave unfortunately doubling up on rats, no use to him. He does have high torrent and bubble. Um so he may like you are dead to a crit from Weedle at seven mo most of the time. I don't think no, you, you can you actually are. roll six, yeah. You can roll seven to eight. Um But the torrent hitting it with a single torrent bubble typically saves a turn. Um you typically five shot but nearly four shot with no torrent. So the torrent is Kind of useful, so he may actually just go in, but I imagine with a save. Wave famously never hits that range though, and complains about it every time he goes for it, which never is not funny. <laughs> he is, he does not have the best luck with tor torrent bubble straps on Sammy, which is all the more surprising that he goes for it again, but it's just, especially in a race, I feel like it's just the right decision. I mean, he hasn't really gone for it here in, in as much as the game has just handed him it. <laughs> like, he's got yeah. no real choice. You have Torrent, you might as well just take it. Uh, yeah, so we've got a... Fets have got a bit of desync. Wave's a little bit behind, but he's got Bubble. Macwing's a little bit behind, but he has two. So Math Genius at the moment, storming off into the lead. Yeah, it's what, like maybe 10 seconds between Wave and Mockwing right now? And Math Genius just on pretty average any percent run. Uh, actually, like, pretty mm. decent time. He's missing these encounters. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful commentator's good. I, 
I love just not not saying anything in, in <laughs> Viridian Forest and then waiting for an encounter. It's the most susp suspenseful part of this run, I swear. It's just walking yeah. through the very oh, long grass. One tile yeah. away. Two to Sammy's still not bad. Level Ooh, oh, level, level five. Pick no, two, just get run. away. Just run. Just run. No, Come on, go away. Go away, man. No, no, that's no, you can't do this. No, don't no, paralyze. Do this. Okay, oh that's, that sucks, but it's way better than dying. Oh, that's, yeah. Is he... <laughs> He's got a potion. I think he's got two potions and he's already he's about half health, so that's no, actually he not already, that bad he a scenario. Already healed. He already healed. Oh, he did he? He's only got the one. Ooh. Yeah, I was like, I, I don't even disagree with going back for the other forest potion there, honestly. We'll uh, definitely get another encounter, but I don't disagree with that. Yeah, you've got to walk through a lot of grass for that, though. This, like, to be fair, he's banking at this point on... The Sammy fight has to go quite bad for him to actually die here. His health is still quite good. Macquin is going to go for the early potion. I mean, you definitely 100% save, and he's got yes, he's so got to use the other potion, uh, and he's already potioned, so he's already poisoned, so he's got to rely. He's got to get at least two uh, two or three strength shots for this to go right well. here would be terrible. It's like a third of your health. Well, this is good. He has to mart or center, or he could just go. Wave, <laughs> interestingly poison. enough, he's potioning turn he potion turn one. Oh. oh my god, that bubble did. Is that like low much. roll bubble? No, that is that's kind of normal, I think. I thought that was like a like one point lower than usual. And he's just gonna miss uh, the like, the four shot effectively by a little bit. Torrent yeah, normally makes a difference. Got a lot of poison things there. No poison though. Can be going in 14. So Matt's Pretty got the yeah. perfect Sammy setup coming out, but no potions, which is super not great for a race. Yeah, um, that's that makes things pretty hard because you just you just got to reset Brock, and that's so much time loss. Yeah. That uh, Macwing had we all living on one HP. Mark, Mark Wing definitely has the worst health out of anyone right now. <laughs> Mark Wing is hella safe right now. Mark Wing won't be dying. Mark Wing is going for early, early Mart. Hmm. I, and think wait, actually, fine, yeah. I like this. I like this a lot. I was questioning why Wave was doing it, but yeah, with the combo with your health being nearly good and a bird is a good encounter. Oh my god, that's dude, that's, nice. if, if this gets in the ball, that's like, that's perfect. That's gone perfectly. He just wants uh, Scratch from Santru now, and his health is actually perfect. Scratch wow. or Tackle. Tackle from uh, uh, G the Geodude. Yeah, correct. Yeah, that's... I I love that strat, because when it works, it's so good, but it ne I feel like it never works. <laughs> so... They're all entering the center, the center, the gym at about the same time, but Wave and Matt both have both Pokemon. And Macwing has really high health, so skips the save, but he's also going to be dead slow because he has really high health. So this is still a bit up in the air. Matt Gene, he would be, like, he'd be starting Brock right now if he didn't have to go for that extra potion. Mm. Uh, and I mean, that's just, re that's just the bad luck with the Pikachu there. There's really not much you can do about that. But he's... Like, he's also the only one with Torrent, so things can hypothetically go better. Fence Curl, you'd love to see that. Wave does not get the tackle on Geodude, so he's going to be three-shotting the Shrew. That genius, just go... Yeah. Just Black go. Queen gets a scratch, but it really doesn't help at this point. He's still so high. <laughs> Yeah, oh, and that, Wave and gets... Uh, Wave just does, does not want to scratch now. Just anything but... No. Of course! Oh, man! <laughs> Liam is great. We love Liam. This is Liam, right? I'm this talking about the right dude. <laughs> Fun fact, Liam is everyone's favorite trainer. And no I one has ever hated, hated Liam. So, Matt's going into Brock. He's got the ideal HP. And crits the Geodude sort of unnecessarily. I'm a fan of withdrawing on the Geodude when you've got these rash good defenses. I don't know. Yeah, it's not bad. The only thing is that I mean, it's a bit better for 
what? Oh, he's withdrawing on Onyx. Yeah, especially compared to withdrawing on Onyx. Uh, uh, if he hits the range, it's all good. I think yeah, he did. There he, yeah. It just right. uh, withdrawing, withdrawing when you have. Oh, well, he doesn't have the potion, so that's actually yeah a lot better. Well, he, he went and bought two, didn't he? So. Oh wait, no. I'm, yeah, I'm stupid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. You, so like when you're withdrawing, if you have potions and you're planning on Ooh. possibly being able to potion, I feel like it's just straight up not as good. Mike got a really good fight. Um, he got knocked to 11, which was Torrent, but didn't hit the range, and then got tackled to 6, so that worked out really nicely. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of exactly what you want to see there. Yeah, he's going to have... He's going to need to take a hit on the first bug catcher, but yeah, that's quite All good. Right. Yeah, wave wave hitting the first bubble, not getting any any Torrent. Uh, and you just kind of go for the next bubble here, right? You've got it. That does yes. two. He's just got to pray that his tackle are not bind. Oh, oh and he caught two misses. Oh my god. Ah, that's really bad for Wade. <laughs> it's held so high. Oh, yeah. Fun fact, Brock's accuracy when he's uh, definitely dead becomes 50%. Wow, that actually sounds pretty high. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Maybe I'm being optimistic. That's just gross. You played everything right and you get screwed by the 5%. It's so dumb. Yeah. It... It's, it's crazy that all three of his moves have a percent chance to miss. All three of them can just miss you. So, Math had to do a bit of a scuffed menu. I think he's only got six potions total, which is quite low. Um, but he doesn't have anything to sell right now to get more, because he has to sell Rock Tomb to be able to do Late Surge. Yeah, and he can't sell his po Excuse me, he can't sell his Pokeballs because he's, he's the only one who still needs to actually do a catch. Yeah, he has Bird, right? Just Bird. Uh, he has one, yeah. I don't know which one I went like. I'm pretty sure it's Bird. Or... Yeah, I think he, yeah, he's yeah. talking about Paris in chat, so yeah, I think he's got Bird. He's also going to have to walk into Cerulean Center. Hear me out. Know. Matt Genius, if you're listening, go for Nito. <laughs> It'll be amazing. What happened to Wave? Uh, nothing. He's had a pretty decent start, other than um, tackle Mr. Onyx on the last turn. So his health's just quite high at the moment. He got early. He got early bubble, so he was behind. He was behind at the start, and then uh, his Onyx fight was like a little bit slow. Slower. Yeah. At the moment, Math uh, Mac Wings definitely in the lead. Uh, both Mac and Wave have both catches, whereas Math Genius has one. Yeah, but it's still for Mach it's still only like maybe a little bit because he's a couple po uh, a yeah. couple pokes behind in fight. It's, it's definitely a close race. If Math finds like first try, first cap, caught friend, oh. then it's going to be very very close. Was that the first level five peak of this tourney? No, I don't remember who they are. I think second round had one somewhere. Oh, didn't... Was this the tournament where Main died to a level 5 Pikachu? No, that was, that was last, last year. Uh, Trust me, if it happened again this year, that would have been... <laughs> it would never get... No one would ever stop talking about it. Wave getting Ooh, poisoned. Very nice. Uh, you actually... So you don't Antidote here, you just go for the Water Gun, because you're in it. Uh, okay. Antidote opens you up to actually be at lower HP. You might walk... Uh, you might not... Um, and set this straight away, either he might delay it a little bit and walk a few steps, but it depends on what I HP don't... is at. I'm not sure what the best play is here, but Bug Catch is very safe if he wants to do it. Yeah, so if he if he goes for like two like two or three extra ticks, then yeah, Bug Catcher is... Yeah, so he's uh, he's going to take his extra two. That's quite a good play, so now like Bug Catcher is basically guaranteed. Nice safe fight. Math with a fairly clean Route 3, a torrent the whole way. He didn't go for Nito. <laughs> he did take one step in the grass. He had like a, a one in a thousand chance of finding Nito. <laughs> no, no. He goes for the repel right here. Interesting. Well, yeah, he needs to do it very early so that it wears off in the final room so that he can search for Paris. Isn't that still? I uh, I see people. Uh, I know some people do it on the uh, 
Yes, yeah, some people do it on the Persim because then it lasts the entire uh, way, but he's on Fire Red, so he can't go for Sentry. He needs Paris specifically. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, yeah, he, so he needs to, he needs it to uh, wear out way earlier. That's right. Yes. But yeah, I technically, if, you, if, if you're doing um, like four repel race strats, uh, then it's optimal to do it when you pick up the Persim Berry. Mackwing skipping the berry? I think Math did as well. No, uh, Math Genius got, he got the Persim. Did really? he? Mm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Mo I mean, Mockwing still didn't really need it, but I could see, I could see getting it, like, I could see getting um, it. He's Rash, though, surely. I don't know if Water, uh, water Pulse is going to be favoured, but I would have thought it's a 50-50 from here. Probably about a 50-50, but that's still, like, it's still pretty debatable whether a 50-50 is worth it, even in races sometimes. I Math personally feel like it's pretty much always worth oh, it if you're Rash. I think Mockwing might... Oh no, nah, Math Wing, God's sake. Can you some of you get different names please? Math Genius was on a really risky rocket fight there for a minute. Uh high roll hyper fang would have killed turn one. Um this is probably a good time to mention the thing that the, the gentleman's agreement that I mentioned before. All three runners have agreed to try and go for best tournament time. Once the pass uh... Brock. They're just gonna skip safety measures apart from late surge so that the race isn't completely garbage and entirely decided by surge. So this is why we've seen no Persenberry from Mackwing, I think. This isn't actually a competitive race against each other. They're all racing to beat Ananan. Why is Wave fighting the bug catcher? Because it's going to hold Torrent through the evolution. So it's just the best option here. He gets no benefit from speed EVs. And the bug catcher can't do anything. Because he's a, he'll be up to 16 or 17, one of the two. Uh, he'll be a 17 out of 48, so he's actually not going to have torrent, no. But it's close. <laughs> Maybe he didn't realise. I made the same assumption that he would hold torrent, but he might not. I mean, you really just need to not do double quick attack. Mock. Mockwing, we all saw that movement. But yeah, it's really... It's pretty safe to do, even if you end up not in Torrent after the evolution. Uh, cause you just... It's a three turn fight that can't possibly go wrong. Math so, is only at five health here, so... I don't know if Pound does five, but Poison Gas is very scary. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit worried for him right now. He's got the revive. He, yeah, he's got the harden. Now he's fine. He just needs to hit the ranges. That was the important one. Did you know that Voltorb is a range? I have never seen anybody hit it. It's such a gross range. Uh, poison for yeah. Mac not great. Please it's the don't same as disable. The Onyx range. No, it's definitely not the same as the Onyx, Onyx range, is it? Well, it's not in 16. Um, surely not. <laughs> I, I, dude, I swear to God, it's not in 16. <laughs> Literally never seen anybody hit it, I swear. I can remember like once getting it myself. Like everybody misses this range. It's not nine and six. Oh, yeah, it, sure. people miss it all the time. I think about how many people died. How many people miss the Onyx range? It's not like a fifty. I refuse to believe. I'm being trolled. I'm being punked. Uh, Mac. Uh, God's sake, Math Genius, not Mac Genius. It's found his Paris. Uh, this is kind of a gross fight though, because this thing has uh, stun spore. So now he's going to have to center. And this is still like not even a favorable cat. It's like 50% 50, 50 right here. Uh, it's a bad catch rate, yeah. I'm not entirely yeah, sure. Yeah. It's just like a stupid... If it, if it wasn't a bad catch rate, we would be... Oh man, go with the ball. Come on. What it's you really, doing? really bad if he runs out. <laughs> Okay. okay, thank god. Cause like, what's the backup there, Diglett? Uh, no, you go outside, grab the Great Ball, and go back in, maybe? 
That surely, it, when you're paralyzed, that surely can't be the play. Oh yeah, um, I don't know. Math genius will know, he's maybe the only person that does. But... Yeah, I, I feel like the, I mean... Oh, the Diglett can learn cut? Diglett can learn cut, yes. It has no arms. It can also learn aerial ace. Hey, stupid. <laughs> it's pretty. They were pretty generous when giving Diglett some. Uh, when when deciding Diglett's moveset, they're like, "Dig me, uh, magnitude." Yeah, those make sense. Um, what about the one where he flies? Yeah, let's do that one. All right. right. So Macwing definitely with the lead. <laughs> Yeah, Mark, Mark Wing definitely has a lead here. Uh, it's made, like at mo at m at most a minute maybe. But I don't think it's. Oh, it's kind of deceptive, isn't it? There's a lot of menu in today. Yeah, it's not. I mean, well, let's see. We'll time. Just, we'll pay attention to the misty times. Yeah, that'll be a good. Yeah, measure. let's pay attention to misty. Well, although a lot can change on the misty fight too. So true. Math is gonna have to go and do a center as well, but that's arguably not much slower than like double potioning. Oh yeah, we also need to remember Macquin does not have a berry. So poison, uh, poison, confusion could really suck here. That's true. Yeah. Talk about those things that can uh, really change on the Misty fight. You know, imagine if Paris could learn Strength. That would be so much better. That would be pretty cool. He gets a Swift. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Uh... It's a crit, not the headshot, though. That's still... Pr uh... It's still kind of nice, yeah. You... Yeah, I mean, oh. you... it's only Is... one extra health. Uh, oh, surely you, you buy you that, go... surely. Yeah, you go for <laughs> yeah. that. Absolutely Good health, go hit the range, come on. Yes. yes. That's a really nice fight for Macri all, all in all. Yeah, so not even, so I timed the Misty starts that less than a minute between um, between them, but... I 26 a, for Macri. 26, 28 for Macri. Surely not every Misty fight goes that perfectly. They all got good styles. Which is not something you can take for granted. Yeah, I've seen... I've seen too many star you range misses lately, which is, is unreasonable. It has wave gone... Wave's gone for it. And, and rewarded. It. Nice. Wow, Absolutely nice. rewarded. You love to see okay. someone actually getting rewarded for that for once. Yeah. And that puts wave and math genius very, very close together. Both of them about ahead. 40 seconds, yeah. Yeah, four second difference there. 27-13 for Wave, 27-17 for Math Genius. So it's a pretty close start. Macwing definitely with the best one overall, but it's it's not an insurmountable lead by any means. He'll be oh, no. last if he dies to Bridge Rival, so... Yeah, that's, a solid, that's what, 45 second lead over the other two, and that... Uh, 45 seconds can be lost in a lot of places even without doing early surge. Macklin with a clean bird, gets the flinch, hit the kick. Oh, you love to see it. Yeah, uh, Wave did not save for bridge rival. That's a, I mean, he, he has to revive. That's interesting. Yeah, but that's, you can rip through your revives on this fight. I mean, they are doing the, playing for best tournament time, so that does make sense, but it's, oh, I got sand Dead attack well. at 21 is not okay. It's a yeah. little bit illegal. <laughs> so that was a disgustingly good fight for Macwin. Like, no sleep, no... Nothing really went wrong. Yeah, like, that just goes about... That just went about as well as it could. Mm -hmm. uh, water pulse there, no quick attack, that is good. It's kind of an okay flinch from Math, although 31's gonna invite some sand attacks and also some leech seeds here, maybe. Just get the flinch, smile. Wave gets the flinch. Wave Math gets flinch gets kick as well. Math genius. Actually, not that bad if he just hits this. Oh, he okay, got seeded. It's terrible, dude. Oh, that's so bad, man. You go for the flinch. Oh, you just take so much damage that. It's just such a 
an awful situation all round because now he has to bite and kick again. The kick doesn't kill from here. Yeah, that's. This loses a lot of time, sadly, and he's it's still like he's not in range to die, to die. So there's a very high chance he gets sleep powder again. Oh, the fun. unless that happens. Not okay. Bad. At least oh. there's no kick misses. But yeah, that's that loss. Like, a not okay amount of time. I mean, to be fair, Wave also got Sand, so it's kind of similar. They both had to swap out, but uh, it's a classic case of the bridge getting richer, with Makawin getting the best bridge fight out of the three. Yeah, I mean, Makawin, abs absolutely just cruising right now. It's points like these where you kind of wonder, uh, who's paying attention to the stream, who's paying attention, uh, and how much to the other runners? Because... Like, does he know? Does he know he's cruising? Does he, or is he, is he still worried that like maybe they're like right on his tail? Because after that, like after everything that just happened in the last like five minutes, it's pretty. He's like even doing even better than he was before. Yeah, he's definitely got a comfy lead. I feel like it's sort of a mistake if you're not watching a stream or like some kind of replay of it because. It's extra information to know, but at the same time, if they're still doing the gentleman's agreement of playing for best tourney race time, they're almost not racing each other. Like, realistically, one person's going to finish, and the other two will probably forfeit. <laughs> like, but yeah, it's it's definitely worth keeping an eye and stream sniping. You need Actually, the information <laughs> of where your opponents are. That's very. That's also a very good point. If they're not paying attention, who? How do they know? How do they know if the other two have forfeited or not? Yes. Oh, whoops, all three of us died. Well, someone still has to move on, so do the race again. I wonder what the play is there. Is it whoever forfeit last, or are they just doing the race again? If they uh, all I, think the, I think the actual answer is, is when the third person forfeits, comes into the race for their interview, realizes the other two have forfeits, they boot the game back up and play again. <laughs> and then they'll finish. Like, that's probably actually the point. Can you tell the bridge is like a really boring spot where there's nothing to talk about, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> we are very there's much waiting for these one... guys to get to the damn bass. There's like, there's five fights in a row where you just one shot everything and everything goes perfectly. Didn't actually see what Wave did to the Oddish, but I saw McQueen double, did double bite and got absorbed and math hit the kick. Uh, I don't see his mega kick count right now, so... Yeah, and Matt Genius and Wave are both... Both at pretty high health, so uh, I would assume probably not, or they missed it. Uh, so does anyone fight Franklin here? Maybe Mockwing. Actually, pro I would say probably, probably Mockwing. How does the fight and Franklin thing work? So for late surge, what you want to do is uh, you need to get a little bit of extra EXP, and if you fight Hiker Franklin, which is a hiker right by the elixir, that um, it gets you 25 for the uh, double Oddish girl at the end, so you can water pulse the first one for a very good range. So if you're in torrent, it's already it already pretty good. Uh, but also, it gets you level 29 for Martha, so you get a slightly better range on Martha. I am... that's... I'm fairly certain that's how it works. I'm not 100% no. sure. And the other, the other thing they do if they don't do that here is they fight the other a hiker in Rock Tunnel, right? I'm piecing yeah. this together from having done commentary in a couple of races, like... Yeah, there's, a, there's another hiker. Instead of the Onyx Geodude Onyx, there's, I think, three Geodudes and a Machop. Yeah, that's right, because we fight him with Charmander. This is the only bit I actually know. Okay. So yeah, he has fought Franklin. Yeah, that's... I mean, I'm pretty sure that's just correct there. Okay, yeah, I'm checking the notes right now. Fighting uh, fighting Franklin gives you 29 for Mar Martha's Bulbasaur, not the Oddish, but it, uh, get, it gives you a better range if you have lower attack, which, I mean, Mockwing doesn't have to worry about that in particular. Uh, but it also um, gives you torrent. It also gives you level twenty-five, so you have the torrent. Nice damn pass. Yeah. I mean, as well, if you're gonna 
fight an extra Pokemon anyway, you might as well do it here just for the 25 on the Oddish, if nothing else. Exactly, yeah. Alright, let's see if Wave can take out this Onyx. Wow, amazing job. That Onyx can be tricky. There's like really just nothing else on this split until the Onyx is. <laughs> it really isn't. Another good uh, Yellow Dan pass from Wave. I think there's only only a couple of people left in the tournament that do the the full guaranteed Dan pass now. Your pass is hard, man. Uh, if you've played Emerald, it's pretty reasonable. I won't lie, but you do kind of get Emerald a mind. Emerald hard, for, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, you get a mind for how to do a lot of like spinner passes just from playing Emerald, really. I, I mean, that's fair. Yeah, you, you're definitely more used to it. You get you do some spinner pass is here but it's but compared to emerald it's just very very few yeah emerald is a bit too silly like some of the double waiting for the doubles to spin around is just gross that that, that just seems annoying yeah you ever lost 30 seconds after just because you walked out of fiery path not in fire red you didn't yeah. uh, mcqueen's got 25 for this oddish he's gonna go for the pulse range i think this is 13 and 16. yeah and it's not a range if you crow Yeah, I'm pretty sure 13. Yeah, 13 and 16. And then this one sucks, so you've got to kick it. Yeah, 6 and 16, I think. Yeah, Matt Wing's setup here is really good. Low, uh, high torrent. He's got a high number of kicks because he's he saved one on the Oddish earlier by double biting it and then saved one there by pulsing it in torrent. Um... Yeah, so he's got, for sure... <laughs> Uh, he's got Water Pulse for the Raticate, but uh, they're all doing late surge, so, so he will be healing. Mm. So, we'll oh yeah, so I suppose the High Torrent doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. yeah. It's still nice for the rat for the Raticate because, I mean, he has three kicks. He's only used two kicks, he has three left, but, I mean, he has to use one on the Drowsy, but it's not unreasonable to miss two kicks in a row. Mm -hmm. It's stupid, but unfortunately not unreasonable. So yeah, the bill split has spread the runners out a little bit more. Unfortunately for Math Genius, that means he's dropped back a bit. All three are doing Lake Surge, yes. Yeah, Math Genius, okay. He hits that one. Out of kicks though, I see. Did he grab Ether? Who? Macron or? Mac Genius. Oh, uh, he's not there yet, is he? It? It's after this fight. Oh yeah, no, it is. Yeah, so he, be <laughs> he better grab Elixir. <laughs> you better. Yeah. Uh, runners are doing late surge. It's a, it's a strat specific to races that a lot of higher level runners seem to prefer because doing early surge sucks. Surge is a very, very bad fight in this game because you're trying to do it with a War Turtle and the Raichu has electric moves and double team. So it's not unheard of to die to Surge three, four plus times in a race. Um, it just, yeah, sadly, it just, Surge is not the only fight in the game that you're favored to lose. Yeah. So late Surge is like a, a compromise. It's very, very consistent, but you do lose a minute by doing it but it's like it's, it's faster than dying to search once generally so there's about 45 seconds between each runner i think wave's about 45 seconds behind matt mock wing matthew's about 45 seconds behind wave so like you said they'd spread them out a little bit more but it's not as it's definitely not as big of a spread as it could be mm -hmm. Like, this is Math still very recoverable. Math Genius just elixir. That, I hope he knows that. Um, it seemed intentional, he didn't stop any point. <laughs> the menu seemed quick. I know he said something earlier in chat about 
Lakes doing heel skip for Boat Rival? I don't know late surge strats well enough. I'm here. sorry, what? <laughs> well, uh, Anna's saying Mad Lad's actually going for it in the chat, so I guess he is about to do something interesting. Uh, heel skip for Boat Rival? Are you... Huh. Where? The thing I'm confused about is where are you going to ed like, are you just going to ed us in Rock Tunnel? Surely you're just going to run out of like pulses or something if you do that. There's, uh, man, where's, there's a backup. There's a Max uh, Ether in, um, in Vermillion, yeah. yeah. But surely, surely picking up two extra items is not, and using two ethers is way worse than just taking the boat here. Oh, the free rock tunnel center, that that would make sense. Oh. Surely that, that's like, slow as well. Just loses <laughs> more time than doing a heal, like, heal rival. Oh my god, Wave Warrior caught up. <gasps> Wait, how? Did he skip the... He's, he's, he hasn't got the bite voucher yet. I'm just fucking Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, did he skip the mart? I was... I'm, I'm doing that, oh no, he died, but of Fire Red Leaf Green instead of uh, Emerald Tropius. Look at these guys, neck and neck. He's not saving Ooh. for... He's not saving for that either. Man, I guess Wave actually wants to do the gentleman's agreement. I'll wait for Wave to come into. He's gonna die to something and then be like, well, everybody else saved and I'm really pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually Mockwing and Mad Genius just pranking him, like, hey, we're most worried about Wave. Let's let's make him do like the risky strat so that he dies. Wave got flinch turn one. But interestingly he also went for the bite, which I don't feel like that's a great range at 26. The bite pulse is guaranteed. And yeah, just as I say oh, it, Mac Queen gets seed. owned by it. Leech Seed isn't better. It's not terrible. You can yeah, take not... damage, which is nice. <laughs> is it better overall than Vine Whip? I'm trying to think. Probably, Probably not. not. Well, Mac Queen got it too. Okay, yeah, he wants to take a little bit extra damage here. Mac Queen missed, and now that's an issue. I think. Maybe if he hits the kick here, he's just okay. Yeah, no, he, 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 he can just kick here. Oh, he's, um, he's like, really low, though. His, yeah, his, like, the seed recoil puts him at kill range for Kadabra. Which I'm curious if it's... Oh, Kinesis from Kadabra. Go away, dude. <laughs> you, don't not, you don't see that much at all. I only really ever Thankfully. see confusion or disabled. Yeah. God, imagine if Kadabra came out earlier. Before Ivysaur. You'd have to deal with oh, Sand Attack and Kinesis. Oh my god. No I didn't see Math Genius's fight. Um, I think he got Kick Hit, Vine Whip Kick Hit, judging from his health. That seems so, quite yeah, fast. it looks like he's he's now. Did Math Genius get, grab the voucher already? I don't know. Again, I'll be honest, I was watching Waves because I was super interested in his no save uh, fight. I completely forgot about Math Genius. Yeah. Dude, focusing on three races at one time is still so hard. I need three eyes. That would solve everything. <laughs> flinch Bird, Flinch into Miss for Math Genius. So what, he went in at like 18 health? No, wait, Flinch into Miss? What? He bit turn one? I'm very confused what's happening right now. Oh, so flinch turn one, kick miss, then kicked. Okay, yeah, right, I'm following a little bit more. Why was he... But then why was he, he biting if he's doing late search? He tried to teach Cut to the to the Squirtle instead of the Rattata. Yeah, this is interesting now. This is a very tight race all of a sudden. Math and Macwing are leaving the boat at exactly the same time. I think but Wave's I got the lead think, by a little bit. I still think Math Genius needs to grab the like Oh, that's possible, yeah. But, yeah. We'll see in a moment. So, yeah, Wave with a small Usually lead. Surge is the great equalizer, but it was right. It was rival this time. Just given Wave an, an encounter for true content, could you? Yeah? All right, I'm gonna time their bike splits. Yeah, so Mac yeah, needs there to we buy go. a voucher. Well, that's a bit of a shame, but I saw that Mac one. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. He teaches cut there. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's the Max Ether. I imagine that might just be for the safety in case he does run out during Rock Tour. Mockwing exactly 10 seconds behind Wave right there. Alicia could decide. Is that what this girl's name is? Alicia, I feel like I'm learning yeah. the names, yeah. I've never I've never been one for learning the names, it's just the the four grass type girl. <laughs> the manky guy. The, the rat the guy. guy. <laughs> now sing it to that Billy Eilish song. It hits the first kick, you... Oh, they have to pulse stuff on this, yeah. Uh, Magwing does not hit the first kick and gets stunned. Which is gross. He is gonna go for the bite, which is kind of neat. Because then... Got... Oh. Wave's gotten both kicks. You have to double bite. I would've thought you'd healed the paralysis there. That's interesting. Just going? Does he not have power heals? Mm. Does he not? Surely, the, if he's got power heals, surely this is not right. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine this is correct at all. Did you just forget to buy some? What's he doing? I, I've got to presume that he forgot to buy them in uh, Pewter or something. No, he did did that. Oh, I don't think like I mean he kind of almost got lucky only being fully powered once. Yeah, but you're still slower, so you like yeah. you still lose like another like five to ten seconds every also, other I mean, time. He had to hit what like five moves through paralysis. There was a good chance he got fully powered two or three times. Yeah, Which I mean, so that's still pretty worse. lucky, but like. No, Matt Genius! Ooh. Yeah. Uh, he was a he was a tile early on that. He said he hesitated in chat. Oh no. That's just tournament nerves, I think. One in four to fully power? Yeah, and you got one. <laughs> but two slash three is not out of the, the realms of possibility. That's yeah, I don't know. I liked the. I actually liked the the first bite while you parried. You see, and then healing at turn two would have. Is that's it? Oh, that's it for him. Okay. Damn. That's a shame. That really is. That you definitely don't want to see see a race end like that. I feel like that might have been a premature forfeit as well. I mean, it's he's, certainly not great by any means to have hit that, but... He's saying he lo it's a minute loss that he can't get back. I kind of... I, I understand his logic a little bit, because he was already about a minute behind. Yeah, way, I just feel like wing. so much could still go wrong for the other two races. Uh, yeah, you're relying on a lot at this point, and it never feels great to be in a race and be like, I need my opponents to go badly. But we're early, like, he wasn't significantly behind. But yeah, I get it. Right. It can be tilting as well, being that far behind, you just start making silly choices sometimes. Yeah, I mean that's I think that was the main reason he's going for best race time and that's if you're going for best race time and it becomes impossible to get that, then yeah. He had, he had one goal and it wasn't a, it wasn't about winning the race, it was about winning it was about getting the best race. Yeah, so that... And then there were two. Yeah, wait. This is now a two-man race between Wave Warrior and Mockwing. Not As... too far behind each other. Although I think Mockwing's probably yeah, a little bit. He's probably like forty-five seconds behind at this point. Yeah, I think so. The the Alicia fight cost him a lot. 
Um, ooh, that's an interesting miss. He might. No, poison powder's ooh. fine. He's kicking for his life now, I think. Unless he wants to super. Okay. Oh, that's you're insane. <laughs> you're insane for that. I, to be fair, what else are you going to do? You could super and then get hit and then probably be dead on the next turn anyway between the combo of Razor Leaf Poison. I mean, yeah. Right. And also, if you then hit, you're at terrible health, so... But yeah, that's... Uh... I mean, to be f the forfeits become far more common as we get further into the tournament purely because the requirements to get through to the next round. Like, here, you have to win, so... Playing riskier and getting punished is more common. Mac being having no luck with these oddishes right now. Yeah, his his ki his kicks have been a little bit off. I mean, he missed a kick. I, what, he that's missed, a ring? Uh, an early surge, yeah. Gross. Late surge, but yeah, I knew what you meant, mate. I don't oh, know yeah, why sorry, I didn't surge. need to create you on there at all. I feel kind of bad about it. Early surge wins again. I think I forgot because I saw Wave Pulse, but then obviously Wave was in Torrent, so that's... Uh, okay, so it's a 62, it's a 62 percent chance to two-hit KO with Double Bite, uh, but it's wow, a better range gross. if you're in Torrent, if you bite wa in Torrent Water Pulse. Yeah. Although it kind of sucks, because I feel like if you're in Torrent, then you're kind of... If you're in Torrent, you're kind of just also dead to Razor Leaf from Bulbasaur. Mm-hmm. McQueen has already fought Franklin, it's worth mentioning, so there's a little bit less time difference between them, because he's going to get the faster fight coming up. Whereas Wave just had to fight uh, the four trainer hiker. Yeah, so that, I mean, there's still, what, two fights between them? Or no, just one. Uh, yeah, the I think it's one fight. They're both on a three turn. The first poke of a three turn fight. It's a good amount. Wave's definitely got the lead, but it's not comfortable. No, this is like it's only a lead if nothing goes wrong, which is just basically just not a lead. <laughs> Ready. Yeah, it's pretty safe. There's only like two things. You have the one spinner pass and then the last Oddish in Rock Tunnel. Otherwise, uh, it's pretty much safe for the re uh, like throughout the rest of Rock Tunnel. I'm getting on the off the bike to do, uh, prepare for the spinner pass. Yeah, they're like actually synced up, but on the different fights. I don't know how the, the sort of low health for wave matters here. It might be really good, because by the time he's evolved, he'll be close to, if not in torrent. Whereas Macwing needs a bit of help for that. It's pretty, It's. I mean, it's nice. Um, the, the gambler on the route afterwards, on the route, the route after Lavender, Okay. Wave. <laughs> Waves, Waves, he, he's like, I'm not, I'm not risking this optional. <laughs> Absolutely not. He found uh, it. Yeah, he got that. The gambler on the uh, whatever route that is, route eight. Uh, you can torrent water gun the Vulpix, but you can't not, you can't water gun the Vulpix out of torrent. You have to water pulse it, which is just a very weird late surge thing. I mean, more specifically for like going towards, they're gonna need torrent for surge. Obviously, McQueen's got to find Torrent, whereas Wave is going to be pretty close to it. Yeah, that, I mean, that's true. You kind of got to rely at that point on getting Torrent from Giovanni, which is uh, sometimes iffy. Yeah, that's just like it. It's pretty risky to have to rely on Torrent from Giovanni.
Backwing's luck with kicking oddishes has not been great. Can he get the last one? Let's go. So just on the rock tunnel exit, this will be a, like, God, almost a minute. Uh, so waves was 53.55. So yes, it's gonna be about 50 seconds. Yeah, but okay, yeah, N not a full minute, but like. Yeah, close enough. So interesting though, because all I feel like most of that time loss it was what 10 seconds different between them on the like getting the bike, and it was all that time loss was just oddishes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's called it's called he's called Gamer Rich. Oh, no way! He's doing it! What's this? Oh, he's going for the Lumberry Strats! Oh, Why? No, I didn't think anyone was going to do that. Lumberry's so good. Think about it. Um, It's good for Koga, it's good for Erica, it's good for Sabrina. And it's good for Lorelai if you still don't use it at that point. Oh. We were t I remember fucking Pokey Guy was talking about this. Oh, that's yeah. The more I'm thinking about that, the better it sounds. He's it's already so good. Used... All those tiles are one per are one percent, so you don't risk anything if you do the movement correctly. Like that's just ah, that's interesting. I, I forgot yeah. about this. Oh, that's awesome. I think this is the debut <laughs> of that in the tournament. And the more I think about it, the more I like it. Like, it's it's you, so good. You don't. You're like the... you're saved from sludge poison always. Oh yeah, you can't use you can't use for Lorelai though. You need the black glasses. But like, yeah, you like still even for those three fights, if you don't have the person berry, it's so good. Shout out to Poke Guy for I'm pretty sure he was the one who came up with that. But I know Poke Guy's been uh, like theory crafting a bunch of race. Strat, like insane race strats recently, um, some of which have been better than others. I still maintain that uh, 8x axe is just faster from skipping saves. That's my uh, that's my one race strat that I don't think has kind of taken off. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah, it. You just skip three saves, like, surely it's faster, even with selling the nugget. Like... It's, it's only, like, an additional risk of crit. That's the only, I think the only downside of that, which... in a race might not be... Mm, you find, it... like, still rival crit's not an issue, though. You can just heal it. What's the other ones? Um, I don't think Viridian rival. If you've got the supers, Viridian rival crit's not that big a deal either. Yeah, raiding rival crit is honestly the least big deal. And then lance crit isn't an issue if you're not running mild, so just don't run mild, forehead. Uh, I don't know if that command's here anymore. It's Persim, I think. Persim 2? It was Swift spelled Persim wrong. I can't remember how she spelled it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I don't. So I don't know exactly when you put that on. Probably on the, maybe on the fly split. Actually, yeah, maybe. probably the the fly menu because you're going to be on TM case anyway. Yeah, that makes the most sense to me. And it also. Hoga or in menu is actually probably a better shout. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that makes sense. If you need to do it there. We might not always order them to be fair. But you are going to be surfing, so... Probably worth to delay it. I mean, the only thing, like... Yeah, what would really... It would really only matter for the... For Lavender Rival, if you miss, like, a kick or something, or the range on Dextrats. 
Mm. But that's so unlikely, and even then, you're still not guaranteed to get a status. What happened to Math Genius? He was already behind through no fault of his own, and then made a mistake and hit an optional. Hit the hiker just before Rock Tunnel. Because he hesitated with the run to bike. It was pretty unfortunate. He had, he had the lead a little, or he was like tied for the lead a little early on. But uh, I feel like he got unlucky a couple of times in a row. Yeah, the the Paris breaking out the ball is not great. Interesting range miss from McQueen gets glare miss. I'll take like that. So much random stuff becomes a range on late surge. It's gross. That, like, that is the one big deal with Late Surge, like, it's not just the time loss, you have, like, other stuff just becomes riskier, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Why is Waze game feed a tad darker? Um, capture card differences. And people don't typically have another game feed to measure theirs against to gauge how well colour balanced it is. Mine is always a bit too bright, just because of how my capture card captures it. Uh, to be fair, McQueen, yours... Uh, no, Waves, it was the only dark one, if I remember rightly. You and Math Genius both had very similar looking game feeds. I could be wrong on that, to be fair. No, I, yeah, I think Waves is a bit darker. Waves is definitely darker, yeah. Actually, I mean, I, th I know that one person was the odd one out, but I think it was Waves for being darker, <laughs> rather than, like, Max for being the lighter. Wave uses G Game Boy Player and like the regular Game Boy Player uh, stuff instead of GBI. I don't. I don't think he does because it's not blurry enough. You yeah, can see not... individual pixels and you normally can't with Game Boy Player. Uh, it is quite a notable difference when you switch. I didn't believe it at the time until Swift convinced me to switch over, but it is very notable. Oh, so much nicer. What happened to Math Genius? Um, he was behind by about a minute and then hesitated on the hiker run to bike before rock tunnel and hit him he re he reset because he was going for best race time and best race time became impossible at that point yeah so wave has torrent here which is really nice and gets bike which is probably the best move and two shots the kangaskhan be rich get richer Wait, McQueen's health is so high as well, he's really gonna want, like, two punches, or Punch yeah, no, Bite he, might do it. Two punches, Punch Bite might not be enough. I, like, no, two punches, maybe not. Probably the, be the best. He's probably gonna get a max roll of about 28-29 on this, so yeah, Punch Bite's probably not enough. Tail Whip Punch is pretty good, but then becomes scary for a crit. Yeah, it does. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> Please tell me I didn't wish that into existence. <laughs> it's okay, that's gonna be a bite. Oh, oh no. Do you stall I, here? No. I think he might just... The amount of damage he needs to take and the risk of Mega Punch crit there, he might just go for it and hope that he can do something on Raichu. I wonder if he could like heal to full and then just tank. Alright, so yeah, about, an, about a full minute behind right here. What? To 102.07 to 103.05. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm not super familiar with like what you do on late surge strats when you're out of torrents. I also don't know. We will find out though. I'm just, if anybody knows, Macquin knows. <laughs> I've got notes open on the side, so. Uh, you. Okay, you X special on Voltorb. Oh, that makes sense. That's a way more elegant idea than mine of just go in and hope. Yeah. yeah plus one water pulse killed outside its warrant. Um, that does not solve the issue, though, of... Um, 
a bad help for lavender rival. Yeah, exactly. Maybe if you get if you get shockwave from the vault orb or sonic boom turn one, then it might be a little bit high but manageable. Because he'll be at about mid fifties, and you want to be in kind of mid forties. So, mid fifties actually isn't. If, if you're going for X attack strats, mid fifties actually is not that bad. I it's would not, say. but he does have he does have a great HP defense. Well, he has great de defense, but he also has great HP, which kind of balances out. So yeah, maybe. And then what is it? You, uh, I see Anna saying in the chat, wave potions. Oh. You definitely get potion out of torrent. I mean, we'll see in a second. I I missed it. I was look, I was looking for the notes, but if he did potion, that... I think he was. Uh, he was. It was in the ten, so he might not have potioned out of torrent. He might have just got away with it. And made a silly potion. Will there be more games? We have one more race scheduled tomorrow at a very similar time to this, and then there will be the finals to be organised after that. Most likely for next weekend at some point. If you want to see more races, follow this channel, and you will catch them when we go live. Ah, uh, wait. Wave got caught by the thing. He tried- he still didn't check top left can. Hmm. Wave's got an interesting can order here at the moment. Yeah, I've definitely never really seen that anyone do it quite like that. Say so skipping top left can is not great because you, you would like it to be that can, in a way. Yeah, but also bag nipping is just slower on late surge. Right. What do you... It's going to be top left as well. It's top it? left it's... or bottom right. Yeah. And then he also has just walked away from bottom, bottom right, right as well. God. <laughs> he's he's upset That's... for sure right now. <laughs> Did Mach, I wasn't paying up. attention to Mockwing. Did Mockwing get the cans already? Uh, no, I think he's he's gotten to Tucker and he's just fighting him. I don't think he's found it yet. Surely you don't reset after getting all that shit. Okay, nice. thank god. He's getting trolled by the spinner. Yeah, great. I see. This is also why I'm not a huge he's fan. Top of left. Of, yeah, he's top left. Yeah. This is his last cam. That's insane. They both got <laughs> last cam. Yeah, and it was both corners as well. Yeah, uh, wave did potion out of torrent, but luckily Voltorb's a friend. So his health is totally fine now. Good old Lord Voltorb. Maybe that, I mean, maybe that was the plan, because what, you get Sonic Boom, Screech, uh, Shockwave, and I think that's it. So you're 2 and 3 to get hit by that damaging move. Uh, to be fair, Macwing did have a save on Boat Rival. So it's uh, it's definitely a gentleman's agreement. They are playing top level risky, but it's reasonably risky for a race. The Macmillan did get damaged. It's yeah. Wave is Wave has avoided a few. Like he's he skipped a few uh, saves that like in a race are is not that are not unreasonable to go th for. Yeah. Macmillan's health is probably going to be fine now. I think. Yeah, it's pro it's probably he's probably chilling. <laughs> He might want a quick attack from a rat, but yeah, he's not going to be too bad. So, Wave's going to skip attaching the black glasses for the moment, and he's going to attach the Lumberry later. Is talking to the, does talking to the rival from the right there make any difference? I don't think so. I feel like you're going a tile higher. I think that's uh, slower. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's just, like slower. I've just never thought about it before. I've always it's okay. Gone below. Wait, is just trying to let Math Genius, or sorry, Math Wing catch up a little bit. See, it's hard, isn't it? it no, it is. <laughs> I'm, 
was giving you shit earlier. No, I, you I weren't. No, I was. Uh, I'm just. Uh, <laughs> just be like, look. It's hard. It's a difficult I one to do. I make that mistake all the time. Mac and math are just two similar words. I'm so glad one of them DNF'd, so I don't have to keep making it. Okay, that I've never said. <laughs> I'm saying it, I don't care. <laughs> Alright, looks... Alright, hit the kick and... And... Kick strat has gone... Fine. Yeah, we've got a crit at some point in there, which has made his health about perfect. Mac Queen's gonna want a quick attack here, ideally. It's a little high. I wonder if he stalls for a thrash on Gara. The health is definitely, like, for anyone that's used to only regular world record route, the health is gonna be different. You want here is gonna be a little bit different because you will double handy before Koga. So you're gonna be at about 42 for Koga instead of 40. And that that means you have two extra level up, so you're gonna be, want to be about six or seven health lower, if to be yeah, in the same area. It's really nice health now for Macwing as well. Both got the same health. Uh, I think did Macwing do special straps? I only just noticed he that did he do pulled for Ivy. Yeah. He did special strats, but he looks, but he guard spec as well. Oh, well, that makes sense. Actually, no, does it? I mean, it's. I suppose, you, it's I suppose if you've got no kicks left, then you've got no choice, then it's safer. But if you're going to guard spec, you might as well just do kicks, right? So if you've got the kicks. It saves the time of not having to buy the one X attack because having to buy one extra stack will st still cost like a little bit of time. So you're sa so you don't end up saving the turn, but you still end up saving like five or so seconds, assuming you get all the ranges and stuff. Are there any more risks for Wave Warrior? Yes, this game never stops with the risks, honestly. Uh, the next big issue is going to be Koga. Uh, and then Erica kind of sucks, and then it's all kind of plain sailing from there for a little bit, and then Viridian Rival sucks, and then all of the Elite Four sucks. Uh, do, well, he still has to X special, or does he have enough to, is he good to Carbos for Sabrina? No. Um, I'm presuming he is because 29 with a couple of extra EVs can Carbos for Sabrina, so I'm, I'm going to take a presumption that 28 Carbos on late surge can get you the Sabrina. Oh yeah, I, I always forget uh. late surge. Let's see if it says anything in the notes. Cinnabar. It doesn't say if you need it for Sabrina or not. Mm. We'll find out. It says grab Carlos if needed for Sabrina. Dang. Great notes. It's the same speed marks for Sabrina. Oh, we had this discussion, didn't we? Because your levels just equal out by the time you get. Oh, so, yeah, okay, wave, yeah. wave is going to be doing. We, Although, we wave, were talking uh, about this earlier. Yeah. We're not clever boys, don't worry. What notes the reason are you that these are the guys that are running and we're the guys that are... Oh, I'm literally in the one. other semi-final. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Okay, this don't meet with comedy. yourself, dude. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, no, you're alright. That was just funny. Didn't you just say we're not clever boys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just proving it again. Uh, yes, most of the notes are just generally available if you're in discords. The race discord has a lot of different notes in there. Um, it can sometimes be a little bit difficult trying to troll through everything to find the one specific thing you want. Well, that's just because a lot of people have contributed a lot of things. I have the notes up. I've, I've had them up beforehand because I've commentated enough races at this point that I'm like, I should probably just have the notes up beforehand in case I have a question that I didn't, that I didn't know. Which Discord? Good question. Do we actually have a command that links to the Rhythm Labs Discord? That would be quite useful. That would be useful. Yeah. I'm sure somebody, some fine gentleman in chat will uh, pass you a link. Uh... 
uh, I think both of these guys are going to want to avoid quick attacks from the rats. Um, ooh. Was that intentional from Macron? I wonder if that water gun was just a, a misclick. Probably a misclick. He does now, ironically, if he gets no quick attacks, he potions to great health. <laughs> so. Yeah. But yeah, the quick attacks become kind of scary. Oh, he's out of pulses. Okay. Oh. Fair that's... enough. It's got his fine after the goal battle, but yeah. Did he pick up the extra elixir or anything? Or... Uh, Dude, he's out. Of, he's gonna be out of water guns too. He only needs. Oh, he's uh, no. He can bite the drowsy, and then as long as he's got one for the raticate, he'll be fine. Yeah, he's fine. You bite the first three of the next Pokemon and then gun the 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 big rat. When does he next need pulses though? He kind of wants some for Koga, I guess, maybe, but then he can just use Surf's in place, generally. Yeah, he can use Surf's in place, but then uh, it's really low. It becomes pretty sketchy for like getting for Surf's on Erica. Yeah, he's probably not going to be able to spec strat Erica. Did he... Did Mockwing grab the extra elixir? Probably not. I no, I don't I... think so. It was Math that got the Max Ether. No, 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 the extra elixir in tower. Oh, no, I don't think so. He would have probably used it if he had. Uh, it's a good job that rat doesn't quick attack. He is at risk of quick attack crit here, but that would just be the worst. Alright, shiny check. So yeah, Macquin just potions to good health now, I think. Mm, no, because he wants to double candy, maybe Aurens to good health. Anyway, he's fine by the way. Yeah. Wave's gonna do bike pauses now. Snake one was a little bit late, but probably a fine pass. Yeah, I was I was a little concerned because I was like, that seemed like a tiny bit delayed, but it I mean, it didn't. You do need to delay oh, six, a total of six frames. So as long as your delays between six and twenty, it's either twenty two or maybe it's thirty eight frames, you'll be fine. I think twenty two. I'm still just bad at that pass. I don't remember exactly how it works. It's just weird. I, I remember getting, like, learning this for the last tournament and getting quite angry on stream when I found out that if you pause frame perfectly on the first pause, then you're too early and you might get caught. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> Why is this a thing? Why can I be too good? Yeah. Fun fun fact, in, uh, even though it's called speedrunning, sometimes it's not about going as fast as possible. Sometimes it's about having the perfect timing. And they're not, you, you don't always need both those at the same time. I can't imagine either of these guys will be grabbing the second revive. Probably not, definitely not Wave. Wave has shown he's, like, he's going for the best race time for sure. As you um, say that, but if he's going to skip Koga save, he might want the revive itself. That might, yeah. See, this okay. might be his justification for skipping the save now, which is the faster option. So if you're going to play... That's true. He's not going to play mega risky, but he is going to play, like, the second best option. So I don't hate this if he I... skips Koga revive. Uh, save. Machwing goes for the, for the audio lag skip and gets it. It's optimal. It is optimal, it's just... It's really easy to do as well, I don't know why some people don't, I won't lie. It's it's just one of those things that, like, like some audio lag like, skips, they're, they're really not that hard, but... It's another thing to remember. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you, you're, it's not always what you're focused on, it's a little yeah. hard to remember, sometimes it's like, oh, it's so insignificant, why do you need to go for it? It's like, but at a top level, yeah kind of zero reason not to. Mm -hmm. Here we go, he's going to attach the Lumberry on wave side.
So this is... I think this is very comfortably handy twice and nothing else for Wave. Yeah, I I can't imagine that he has to worry about too much else right here. With his defense combo, you'd normally need like 30 and 33 health on normal strats for Weezing. So with the higher level, he's just going to be fine. I think Machmin's going to double candy and aura barrier to guess. Because potion and double candy is going to pop him out. So it's, it'll be 20 to 32 sludge, sludge range for Weezing at his defense. And yeah, he just double he double potions here. He'll be at like 36 or 37, still be in torrent, and he'll be fine. Someone in chat typing the words, I've never seen Wave struggle with Koga. I will let you deal with him when he's about to struggle with him now, because you wish that into existence. You've never seen Wave struggle with Koga? How much have you watched Wave? <laughs> I don't think there's a, a Fire Red Leaf Green Runner with a time better than a 205 that's never struggled with Koga. I think there's, there's someone who's better than a 210 who's never struggled with Koga. <laughs> so waves into Gross Fight number one. He'd love to see Acid Armor on the map. Acid Armor is just always nice. Acid Armor is a myth. Crit here? Crit? Oh. Nice uh, Acid yes. Armor, nice. Acid I've seen Armor a few is of more likely than Crit. I feel like a lot of the races recently have had an Acid Armor. I almost said Ass because like I read Mandel's message as it came up. <laughs> Uh, so this is now, if I remember what I've heard correctly, an 11 and 16 range at 42. 11 and 16, yes. So, hopefully. Oh, oh lucky. Lumberry, maybe? The Lumberry save! Lumberry strats <laughs> win You'll love to see it. Oh my god. And yeah, he goes to the bite here because then Surf's completely guaranteed. Whereas he could miss the surf range again and then have to surf for his life. And then what? He put like he potions here and he's at torrent for Koga and Erica. Erica, if he wants to be. Matt Wing gets minimized. Hits the surf. Okie dokie. Where'd you get the Lumberry? It's between the two cut bushes just after Rock Tunnel. And I say that with a lot of confidence for a man that only knew that that was there when my Wave Warrior did it today. Yeah, we. There's a couple other items there. I think they're all berries, but the lumberry. I don't know exactly what other berries there are. Uh, Macklin gets the range. Okay. Ma yeah, Macklin just gets the range easy. Game is making content choices, moving these two a little bit closer to each other. And yeah, Wave's gonna have. No, oh, no, he's not gonna have to. No, he can carboss for bling. And then. I suppose he's gonna have to heal for Erica anyway at some point, so maybe he just does it here. Nope. Yeah, Carbos at his health, Carbos for oh. Okay. I mean yeah, if he's carbosing for blame, it kinda doesn't yeah. matter. Oh Anubis no, he just out no, he doesn't carbos for blame, he just outspeeds blame. If he has because he got early bubble. Twenty-eight with two speed EVs will outspeed Blaine without the Carbos. So yeah, he just doesn't grab Carbos here. Oh, he yeah. did. He did. Double, he got the uh, bubble, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. I always think that one's three because there's one of them where you want two, and there's one where you want three. And obviously, you need three to twenty-nine to Carbos on Eric on Sabrina. Sabrina. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. This is like the fifth time you forget that late surge always outspeeds Blaine. That's also a great point. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can't just type Amoeba as clueless though. G-Shark is here with me, okay? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, come on, hey. Hey, it's well established hey. that I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's worse for me because I'm a semi-finalist and I still don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it makes me feel a lot better though, thank you. <laughs> or is it better for me and worse for everybody else that I'm a semi-finalist that doesn't know what they're doing? Maybe it's actually wanna, the rest of you that are stupid. I don't open up that can of worms. <laughs> that, we can keep that one closed. <laughs> Turns out that I'm actually the genius all along. 
<laughs> you can run in the mansion. Don't do me like this. I have mod. <laughs> no way! <laughs> you can't just time people out when you don't like what they're saying. Uh, yes, I can. Oh, okay. Never mind. Who's gonna, who's gonna stop me? <laughs> this man has too much power. He's a commentator, <laughs> a mod, and a semi-finalist. I will mention, for the sake of the joke that I timed him out for a second, he's fine. I've been banned! <laughs> <Really> banned. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's over. Oh, the I'm universe gone. has balanced. The universe is balanced once again. I can't see what anybody's shit posting. Oh man, you just missed another Wanley banner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so not much can really go wrong here. It every, they know the they know the answers to the questions. It's really hard to mess this up. You know what you're doing, but uh. Yeah, Wave and Mockwing both just outspeed Lane without any trouble. So really the next problem they would have is gonna be Erica. But that's not for another like no, no, five there's minutes. A there's a very critical step where they have to press a certain button on a certain cutscene. Which I think no one would miss that. Surely not. I think in three tournaments? We've not had anybody say yes to Bill yet? <laughs> Wave has not potioned yet, I don't believe. No, he's still at 3 health, or whatever. Unless he did it in a menu in the mansion that I missed. I didn't see him do that, uh, do it there. I mean, it would make sense for him to potion on the Erica split. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, he did potion. potion. Okay. We all lied to you, I'm very sorry. He's gonna pulse the Ananan is losing confidence in us as commentators every <laughs> single Ananan time we open no... our mouths. Ananan had no confidence in anybody in this tournament to begin with other than himself. Like, oh, we well, can't make ourselves like... look any worse. If you put it like that, then yeah. Ananan's tier list is S, Ananan, F, everybody else. <laughs> Fair point. Wave's gonna save a couple of surfs here to use them. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, to be able to use them in Erica. Whereas I think Mac wins. Could, uh... No, he still yeah, he could. could. He absolutely yeah. could. He'll be at 44 on Erica. But he doesn't even need to save the surfs, so. Easy fights, um, just say no to Bill. It's crazy because you're basically being tempted with a free vacation. I really wish they'd so come up with better no. names. Like, the Sevi Islands are actually great in terms of their design, but it's so stupid what the names are. Like, just call them anything else, please. Yeah. They, 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 put, so, they put so much effort into it. It's so nice. It's so much extra content. And then they were about to release the game, and they're like, oh, uh, well, we forgot to name the islands. Uh, uh, one island. Uh, which yes, which yes, one did one. we yeah, decide yeah, first? <laughs> yeah. Two islands. Wait, there's seven islands. Perfect. It's so stupid as well, when they had the orange islands in the anime. Like, you could have just used that. But then I guess they it would have been disappointing they if really they could've. weren't exactly the same. Do they have second names? No, they don't. Uh, I am saying that they do. Congrats to both players on finding the B button. Now we just see a couple of bites here. Um, does Wade go for spec? I don't think he's in range to die to... I don't think he's in range to die to, uh, Angela. No, it does. I no, think even not. at, like, the worst special defense, it does, like, 25, 26. 
Yep. No, actually, the last time I said this, I was wrong on that, and it does like 30, but anyway, his special defense is not that bad. Nope. He'll be fine. Uh, no, no, say 26 max roll at zero defense, zero fe special defense rash. Oh. Vile Plume does 36 max. Oh, maybe that's what I'm remembering. One island is not island. It's not well advertised. Why didn't I just use those? It's way better. Like, not island's not exactly a great name, but it's better than one. I'm just irrationally upset at this game, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to Fire Red Leaf Green. Hey. Being angry at Fire Red Leaf Green is never irrational. Probably correct. So Wave is gonna surf spec bite surf. Easy fight. And then Mark yeah, Mark Wing's gonna be able to do that too if he wants to. All of those names are great. Not is easily the worst one there, but it's still pretty good. I'm very upset now. Mac Wing Esports incoming, is he just going for it? I suppose he wants the time back. This does save a turn. If you hit. Well, we've got the range. There's a 131.01. Ooh. He's going for it. Simply hit the blizz. I feel like Wave would have gone for... Blizz strats if he still had the Lumberry and Mockwing's been punished. Oh, oh, oh! He gets another shot. Okay. Oh, That's like the same as spec strats, basically. Yeah, you Not lose bad. like a little bit less time, but. Okay. Yeah. What was Wave's time? 13101 versus 13133. It's close. It's pretty close. It a couple of lost turns close. and it'd be neck and neck. And yeah, a couple lost turns can can change the tide of it, uh, one death will swing things heavily. Yeah. Right, super potion. Do you just put on black glasses right now? I think you do. You might as well while he's passing, although he didn't. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's difficult to think putting... about those kind of things when you're in the middle of a race. It's a bit of an unusual place to have thought about putting them on unless you've already had the idea. Yeah. Mockwing hesitating hesitating with himself on which strat to do. Oh, he just risked um, that. Okay, yeah. Hey, it worked, he got it. Is that just a risk? That was just a that risk, That was just right? a risk, yeah. Uh, well, no, technically no, because if he, if he did turn up, then you would have just bonked into him. So no, I think it's actually fine if his reactions are good. Yeah, no, because, like, I saw people talking about this the other day. It's, uh, I didn't read what anyone was saying, but I saw people talking about it. Yeah, so because the only way that he was going to catch him there is if he looked up. But he can't look, he has to walk up, and if he walks up, you just bonk into the side of him. So as long as uh, you're always trying to pass immediately behind them, you effectively can never get caught with good reactions, because the only way that they effectively turn in, like, turn in the direction you're going is if they walk into it, and you'll always bonk them. Okay, okay, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, neither of them saving for Silph Rival, both going in with 1x axe strats. Wave's health is great, he's just gotta hit the blues. Alright, that's um, one down. Yeah, so Anna, uh, Anna, uh, Max going for Super Turn 1 because it takes him to slightly too high, whereas now his health is really good. To maybe a smidge low, although his defense is quite good, so he'll just probably just get away with that. Lose number two. Oh, he gets crit. Okay, you can just super this, it's not the end of the world. It's just a turn lost. Mmm, his health's kind of high now, though. He gets hit one more time, and it's fine. Okay, maybe 40's not. high, yeah. That is it's, high. And he's got 30 as well, so he's not going to take damage off of Sabrina. So that's just a little bit rough. 
And he hits his blizzard, so that's fine. Uh, surely you don't stall on Gyarados here. Uh, he does tank Dragon Rage. Not a bad option. He's not going to die to a crit. Why don't you just go for it then? I suppose you can just wait and see what happens with Giovanni and then you could always just stall a turn on uh, Kadabra because he tanks future sight here, so. Yeah, it's... You can just like spec or speed on Kadabra and Sabrina and his health should be fine. This is just one of the, like, rip, er, power rival, not power, but self rival just really needs to go, it feels like it really needs to go well because it's... Any other strat to get torrent feels pretty inconsistent and a yeah. little bit risky. Because Cadaver's not guaranteed to go for future sight. Yeah, I mean, well, there's lots of options. Is that he could he could go for bite on Cubone, and then if he doesn't flinch and misses the range, he'll take about ten damage. He can miss the Kangaskhan range and potentially take damage. He can get fake out. Yeah, there's a, like there are a lot of like ways to get like to get back into good health. Just that it's inconsistent. Not flinching yeah, and missing the range on bite. So oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you got one of them. <laughs> I was like, as I was saying that, I was like, oh, please don't just fucking prove me wrong right now. I mean, yeah, I think personally, had you realized, I think the Gyarados stall would have been the best choice because he still tanks Dragon Rage on the off chance he does get it. There was yeah, kind of no reason to not do that, but... It's probably the best bet, especially like at 43. Like if you were at 38, like that's so bad health, but you don't really want to risk that. Because I think as well, if you if you bite the Gara, obviously you are risking the flinch at that point, but bite, bite kills. So you then don't have to hit a 93% blizzard. That is always nice. The door is open. Wave didn't have to do the Kangaskhan range, he simply crit. So annoying that there's just range, still ranges like that. Oh, random 13 out of 16. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, realistically, we've not missed anything else. <laughs> That's a great screenshot. <laughs> He just doesn't look like he's actually going up, he just looks like he's stood in the wall. <laughs> it looks like it looks like he's kind of just coming down, <laughs> haunting Sabrina or something. <laughs> Flex on the gym leaders by T-posing in the air. <laughs> by T-posing in the wall. Oh dear. Alright, so we're gonna have to assume that everything went okay here. Yeah, they still, still seem to be about. Uh, actually, I wonder if Mackling's lost a bit of time. I feel like this is more than the 30 seconds difference that we saw. Yeah. It's 140 would... 22 for the first text box in all trainers' fights. I'll see where Mackling ends up. I think he is behind a little bit more. And he hasn't taken damage? Oh. Well, he took I'm damage. sorry. That's a range? Um. Oh, no, was he not in Torrent? Oh yeah, okay. I know, was he? No. Was he yeah, it was, it was, it was... Uh... was he at 46? I thought he was at 46, yeah. And 46 maybe it was 40... Yeah, maybe it was 48 then. No, that's still Torrent. 48, yeah, 48's still Torrent. He, was he at... definitely maybe surfed he as well, didn't he? I'm lost, dude. I don't know. He was at 49, okay. Okay, so yeah, it's a 14-16 range. So yeah, Macqueen's a little over a minute behind there. Yeah, that's that's so definitely a little rough. We maybe missed a little little bit of shenanigans in either Geo or Sabrina fight. Well, not Sabrina because he just outspeeds everything. But... could go wrong then? Uh, Mr. Ancient on Kangaskhan into Tail Whip. Uh, 
Maybe he did try and stall a turn on Kadabra and got the not good move. Oh, yeah, I guess that would be. It. Or maybe Future Sight failed. You can fail? Yeah, I can just like. I think not quote a miss, but it can just like fail randomly. Cool. You ran run extra poke? Look, they're tied, they're both on the Needle Queen. So yeah, probably, a f like, you said over a full minute? It was about minute 10, yeah. Okay. So, uh... Yeah, waves... Uh, uh, Mac gonna need wave to take up a, a full death, really. Yeah, like, so I think a, a quick... <laughs> Agatha death is not going to cut it. Yeah, if everything goes perfectly except Wave dies to Agatha, I think he still wins. Uh, yeah. I think, honestly, maybe... Like, Wave, Wave could just get screwed over by Lorelei and lose a lot of time. He can lose all... He can lose enough time just on Lorelei. Also of interest for the, the best tournament time race, I believe... Wave is a single second behind Ananan's 205. All right, really? Apparently, That's yeah. interesting. If I'm trusting both what Pampa just said and what Ananan said earlier, it was his uh, was Ananan's Go3 time. Then yes. Ooh, and that... Anna apparently saved for champ. I see. I think it's not unreasonable, even if you've done a gentleman's agreement to play for best tournament time. To save for Agatha, because that fight's just garbage. No, you absolutely, you 100% save for Agatha. Yeah. I can't see Wave making the choice not to when he's got this kind of pace, if he knows his pace. Everything else seems fine, like realistically. I don't think it's wrong, especially at semi finals level, to skip saving for everything else. Oh, yeah, and I also got, you got Hail from Lorelei and you got Frozen. So he did not have a great Lorelei fight. Hail and freeze from Lorelei. Yeah, there's definitely some time to be made up there. But to start everything off, he does have to hit blizzards. This is a key one, and his run is basically over if he misses this. He didn't yeah. save. Good. I mean, but he's... I don't know how many extra X items he might have gotten, but uh... I think he's on very standard buy, so I think he's got one extra, which he might use for that. Mockwing not saving either. I don't blame him, he, he needs to that's, catch up. Yeah. That's just straight up correct for Mockwing there. Yeah, you can't, you can't really afford to save. Even, even if you could afford to save. Like, even if saving was a good idea, just like, if you die, you're just out of it. Wave gets flinchy flinch. Love to see it. X speed. Take down. Does he get wait? Mockwing has one more surf, right? No. I think he has surfs. Zero. I think he just said that said zero surfs. Uh, I think he's fine. You can bite Alakazam. It's got to be a range, right? Or is that just dead dead? Uh, I don't know. I'll be honest. Maybe. Maybe he could do X spec on the Growlithe. I have no idea. This is weird. I can't surf the Gyarados anymore, which is awful. That does suck. If he gets Rain Dance, he didn't, so now it doesn't matter. Oh my god. Uh, that doesn't really change anything. Except that he's in... Uh, is he in range to die? No. Uh, he's yeah, but he's a Psychic. He is, but it doesn't matter because he's not going to be doing anything on the Alakazam. Um, normally, anyway. Yeah, he is. He's just gonna speed here. But he might expect, but I I was under the impression that bite just kills. Honestly, it probably does just kill and like no one even mentions it. 
Yeah, you don't, yeah. And it's saying just bite. Yeah. No one does it because it loses two seconds. Exactly. But I've never, I mean, I've just never thought about it because you just always have surfs. We are in the home stretch here. Ooh. Mac uh, Wave did not turn around. So you can't strength on the menu. It's not really an issue, but I'm just curious if he remembers. That is the next speed, my friend. They're right above the speeds. They are right above the speeds. You keep scrolling past them. There we go. You got this wave, it's okay. <laughs> You're doing good, but don't you worry. Wow, the ner I think the nerves are actually getting to him a bit. Which is understandable, yeah. this is like, best tournament time. This is worth 10% of the part if he beats Ananan's time here. 10% of the part, but also I think just like... Right. I think the bragging rights are worth yeah. much more. Like, you walked into a, a Fire Red Leaf Green tournament with Ananan there and then got best time, like, here we go. Mockwing also does not get the uh, the turn. Yeah, it's such a major, uh, major, such a minor time loss. It doesn't matter really. Absolute major time loss. Two it's full huge, minutes. <laughs> significant issue. Thankfully, they both made it, so now it's even. Two minute penalty for both of them. Well, he's not going to get beaten in the last two races. Low two o fives are very solid, like tournament best time. I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't get beaten. Oh yeah, that's like, it's not unreasonable for that to be the best time. I'd honestly put it at about a coin flip, but I really do think that's about 50-50. Over or under 2.5 E4 deaths, it's guaranteed to be under, basically. <laughs> like, because nobody's gonna sit through more than, like, one. Macwing's not gonna save for anything, so he can only die once. And I really think Wave's only gonna save for Agatha if he even does that. And then if he dies, he's probably, like, out, unless it's a very quick Agatha death. I don't know. If Wave if Wave dies, Mockwing saves for everything from that point on. So there That's... could be more. No, I don't necessarily agree with that. If he's... if he goes Hailus on Lorelei, he's not... Oh, of course he gets uh, uh, If he goes Hailus on Lorelei, he's not going to save just because Mockwing died, because he's still playing for best on the time. No, 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 no. If Wave dies, Mockwing, I think, saves. Oh, uh, yes. I don't think Mockwing is in a position to get best tournament time, so he just wants to continue at that yep. point. Fully agree. So there is a there is a chance that uh, we have more than two E4 deaths. Oh yes, yeah. Unless Mockwing is the ultimate gentleman and absolutely commits to the gentleman's agreement, and then they both die. <laughs> And then I don't know what Kid Rock is gonna do. I'm gonna bring in the next best three from the last round and make them play a decider instead. You all suck and you all get to lose. <laughs> bring someone else in. Is that one of the second places move on? <laughs> yeah, next best finishing semi finals time. Except, oops, wait, everybody else forfeit. <laughs> oh no. Wait, no, uh. Okay. Not a double <laughs> no, I don't think there was. Someone, fin someone finished. Yeah, yeah. bouncy finished. Yeah. Waves into Lorelei. He gets hail turn two. You hate to see it. Better than. Than what? So no saves for either of these guys. Pretty reasonable. Lorelei is <sighs> very. There is no chance. Like if if played correctly and like at least like even remotely safely, there's just no chance you die on Lorelei. It's just not uh... possible. 
confuse rate. Constant confuse rate. Crap can happen. I don't. Well, yeah, that's well, yeah I mean, it's like, super super remotely unlikely. safely. Yeah. Like you just have to you have to full restore, full restore when everything. In, and when you're in crit range. That I'm curious if reasonable hail ran nah. out, man. He always protects. This is the Pelipper of Fire Red Leaf Green. Um, I'm curious if Wave's gonna heal turn one. Ooh, Mac Queen gets freeze. frozen. Freeze is pretty unreasonable. I don't think he's had hail yet, though. He hasn't. But he's got a full restore now, so he's got yeah. an extra turn to get hail. Alright. Hey? Get the flinch? This oh, would be oh the coolest hailers. I'm so down for this if he gets it. Alright, you flinch here. Surely you flinch here. That's fine. Okay. Six Go. raw hailless turns. All right, that makes up time. Yeah, Wave's gonna take this the relatively safer option of not trying to get body slam crit. Does invite getting confuse rate or paralysis though? Is the only scary scary thing. Flinch is lovely. Oh, Let's double me again. Love to see that. That's good health to do guard speckless. Ah, uh, maybe a smidge high, but I think it'll be fine. Fifty-three, one fifty-three, thirty-three for wave. The rich do be getting richer. McQueen Ooh, gets confused rate at 91. That is an unreasonable confuse rate. Will he'll definitely throw a star if he gets paralyzed. He's gonna go for it anyway. I think that's reasonable. No, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because if he hits himself in confusion into he's just dead, body slam, yeah. he's dead. But he is bleeding time because of this now as well. Rock two miss is not good. No. Nice flinch. You can stall another turn here, though, so it's not the end of the world. He's got a spare guard spec for just that. Uh, I think you go for the speed here, yeah. Yeah, and Wait. then... Mm, that might be fine. Uh, yeah, that is. That's, uh, that's just good enough. Yeah. yeah. He only needs to hold it for one, so... Unless he pops out late in Agatha, but I think that's just fine. That's still that still holds for two if it's two plus threes. If it's a plus three and a plus four, it doesn't hold. Yeah, he's at nineteen uh, HP IV, so he should just be fine. Wow, well, that's wait, very no, nice. if it's a plus three plus four, it does hold. Yeah. Oh, does he's it? Fine. Oh, he's fine. fine. He's totally fine. It's plus four straight away, but yeah. Yeah, so fifty-four uh, out of one sixty-four. Just... Yeah, that's He needs another turn now. Wow, that was a surprisingly low earthquake roll. But then that rock tomb's fine. Okay, so that was really good Bruno's for both of them. Slightly better for wave again. But it really is the the moment of truth as to whether wave's gonna save for Agatha or not. It might be the difference that gets him tournament best time because he had a very similar Lorelei time. He's going for it! Let's go! Oh, okay! Right, well this is... tense. If he misses here enough times, he's just out. He is absolutely playing, because oh, he has dang. such a good oh, lead is... against McAloon. God. This is the content we all want. I'm so down for this. Please reward him for it. This would be so dumb. He gets Shadow oh, Punch turn God. one? No, that's good. That's fine. He can super here, and then he's only going to hit through one double team. Because I think Shadow Punch is guaranteed here. Yeah, Shadow Punch guaranteed for sure. That's if actually he... fine. Okay, Shadow Punch one more time. Shadow Punch one more time. Oh, come on. Can. Okay, he's only going to hit a 75% surf. Just hit the kick. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, you love to see it. I'm so down. Did lose an extra turn, but does it matter? No. Now Mockwing just like, does he go, he goes in he's for going, it! He he's got to it. though, but he has to do yeah, that. He has to. there's no choice. Yeah, because Wave's not going to save against Lancer Champ, and he's not going to make a mistake that dies to Lancer Champ. He's got to get, he's got to hope that Wave gets unlucky, and he needs every second he can get. Yeah, this is, 
If Mockwing is still, like, coming back from this, it's still, like, it's still insane. He he's also Shadow Puncher Shadow one Puncher. again. That's not good, because I think he's dead to two after the super. 61. No, he might get away with this. He's got really good defense. Uh, Just needs a decent roll here. That's fine. That... Just go for that. Just go for it. Yeah. <laughs> You're not dead. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Hit the kick. And he hits okay. the kick. Same fight. Same exact fight. That's crazy. But yeah, neither of them can die to Hyper Beam crit from full from Gara, so they're both just gonna go straight in. I, it's, no other reason I, to I ever think say. it's still like super hard for Mockwing here because it's uh, Mockwing oh, is he... a minute behind after after Bruno. Can I? It might be correct now for Mockwing to save purely because he needs Wave Warrior to die. Yeah, Wawa I think it has to die for Mockwing to win. So I think Mockwing actually effectively should play safe. It's uh, almost as stupid as that sounds. No, it does. Well, it doesn't because like you need to say uh, play safe because like that's the like you yeah. need to not. The only way he wins is by not dying when Wave does. Yeah, that's the you, only way you, he wins. His win condition now is almost Wave has to die. I think this will be double bite. For, oh no, he's going for the. I guess that's fine. He's going for the safer strap. Well, kind of safe, but he has to hit five. Blitzes, 56 but... seconds behind wave out on Agatha. I think that's heal range for... Yeah. It's probably very close. It's probably the max roll, but you might see Hyper Beam here. It's that unfortunate he didn't. Will he go for double I, I like good. No, he's going for it. Okay, you've got five 93% blizzards to hit now. You should no. heal on Gyarados. You should heal on Gyarados. This is always correct. <laughs> Dude, you, it's that hesitation. You're like, do I risk it, it all? It, it is morally correct to heal on Gyarados. He, Dude, if he misses by like two seconds now, he's going to be hating himself for <laughs> healing on Gyarados. No, because he had to, because he would have just been healing on Aerodactyl. I think. What was he at? 80? Oh, maybe. No, he was at 60 something. I think, he's at 60 yeah. exactly. Oh no, then yeah, Hyper Beam from yeah. uh, yeah, Aerodactyl was a range. So yeah, I think that was just correct. These are tense blizzards. Mackwing does not need to heal 87. No, he's good. he's good there. One more blizzard for wave. He's, he's yeah. through. He's through the blizzards. Macqueen's also rolling 93 blizzards. Oh my god. This has been a bang of race. This has been. Oh my god. This has been. We've had the lead for a while, but like, it's been kind of. It's been pushing and pulling. Yeah. No energy power boost. Very much necessary. Ananan had a 20031 lance. This is going to be, like, tied? About tied. And he saved. Uh, he did save for champ, yeah. This is literally tied, yeah, coming out of once. Just go for it, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, you gotta go for it, please. Just walk in and win. You know you have. No, you haven't saved for anything. Is he dead? Well, that's it. He's over. No, He's dead. That's it. Oh, my God. Congratulations to Wave Warrior for winning the race. The question is, does he win best time? Oh, God. oh. This is, it's kind of a sad thing that Max out, but it, it's, yeah. It's tense as hell for Wave right now. <laughs> Gonna concentrate oh on this first. Oh my god, dude, there's so much pressure. He's already at an advantage by not saving. Yeah. Okay. Dude, Jesus heal this? Heal this, heal this is so good. He has an extra guard spec too. He doesn't want to do that though. No. Sand attack. Oh, that's so so good for Healus. Oh, one more sand attack. No, it's okay. still fine if he doesn't crit. Yeah. Hmm. 
He does have to hit the 93 Blizzard. If he misses it, I don't know what the hell we're going to do. Macwing is probably sat there waiting to see if he needs to keep playing the game or not. In fact, maybe he should be playing the game still. Growth would be good. No, yeah, he's no got to hit the Blizz. 93%, he's fine. Okay, okay. there we go. That's it. That's, okay. That should be it, yeah. He can play I... this safely, but he might want to play a little risky. Uh, he's not dead to Thrash crit, but he will be dead to Thrash damage and Extreme Speed crit. Yeah, so... Depends on how how much he values the the best tourney time, we'll see. Uh, no, it's he, not necessarily he's absolutely over yet. going for it. I agree, yeah. I think I would in his position, because I did it last round. So. And then had a 341 champ, so what is that, mm. 204... 20402? Uh, no, 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 his, two... his final time was a 20521, so he'll, he needs to finish yeah, two... with like a 20423 yeah. or better, roughly. It will be closer to the heel. Flinch here is great, by the way. This Flinch might just is nail the absolute it. absolute nuts. Mm, he's going to have to risk extreme speed crit. He's not dead to it regular, but he's going to potentially have to risk the crit. He, oh, he risks the crit here every time. I'm just like, yeah. Does he need to, though? He's only on one Pokemon left. I don't know if he needs to do it. He might just go for it anyway, but I don't think he, he go, needs he it. He goes for this. He's gone for it. He very it. nice. There we go. Very, very Let's nice. go Wave. Congrats on best, race. on best tourney time so far. GG God Wave damn. with a... Two oh four. With a sub 205 race time. A 204. 204, 47, 46? Yeah, 46 most likely. Maybe a 45 if he mashes like a god. God damn. Yeah, nothing really went wrong for him in that race, did it? No, was it was... He, he was slightly behind coming out of Mount Moon because Macwing had the best start. That was about yeah, it. He, um, he was a bit slower. Like, the Brock split was a bit slower, but, like, everything just kind of went as well as it could have. Oh, he also got the ultimate reward for picking up Lumberry. He lost time for Lumberry, oh, yes, but, you dude. know, saved his ass. J just saying, initial, like, first time we've seen Lumberry in, t in tournament races, and he gets the best race time. That can't be a coincidence. <laughs> it might be slightly anecdotal, though. Lumberry propaganda. I'm here for it. Yeah. We'll find out uh, Wave's actual final time because it will be off of race time not off of the timer here but it's likely to be around this because I believe the timer was started about correctly incredible race oh absolutely just fantastic race what's the uh Wave says he needs a minute that is quite understandable Mac 204 and... 48 is the, is the final time on race time Very nice. Mockwing hasn't DNF'd yet <laughs> <laughs> I think that's sensible to be fair because had Wave died there, Macwing, it would have been a race to go through E4 again for the Oh, both. yeah, it would have been. Which would have been nutty in its own right. I kind of almost wish Macwing had just been going back into E4 just in case. But... Hello, Macwing. Hey, guys. How's it hey, going? Uh, it's going okay. That was a great hey, race. I that think, was a fantastic uh, race. For a DNF, I think that was the most honorable DNF you could have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It. Yeah. I like I can't complain really about most of the luck in my race because I had great luck until just this Blizzmas. So, or I mean like I definitely didn't die on many risky uh, portions of the race. So like to make it this far and have it end here, like I guess it's okay. I'm not like too broken up about it. And Wave also had a fantastic race. GG yeah, play. it. I definitely don't envy your position your position there because like you had a fantastic race and it was like in any other circumstance you had all the reason to just play it a little more safely but then you were still like even after Sabrina almost a minute behind wave and you're like I have to catch up I have to play as risky as possible yeah I definitely I, I didn't want to like wimp out of anything for sure <laughs> like when it got to the end since this was winner take all like I was just gonna take all the risks like since I knew Wave was likely going to do the same anyway. It's pretty rough having to... Like, because realistically, you were on, what, high 205, low 206 pace. So that's, a, that's a winning time in any other race. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. God damn.
It's kind of it's it's a little strange to think about that considering you were on the back foot for most of it. But yeah, two oh five, two oh six is like still a very very great time. All right, I'm here. Congrats, Congrats slow wave. wave. I've had an awful early game. I don't know how the fuck that happened. Um, you had the middle level early game compared to Mac, uh, Math Genius. Well, I'm talking about through like Miss, uh, I guess Brock and like Mount Moon. Yeah, yeah Brock and I was, Mount get, Moon I was getting little... everything bad, and then I guess it started working. I only missed one kick. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, Mac Wing missed like twenty wow. one yeah. two split. That was not. Right. Yeah. <sighs> By far the biggest mistake I made was forgetting to pick up the Max Aether before leaving Vermilion. And then I only had one kick for the Alicia fight. Oh, is I that like that a necessary lost... thing? For... I, no, like, it depends on how many kicks you use on the rival fight in Boat. But I had a bad rival fight, so I only had one yeah. kick left. And then, yeah, I just forgot to pick up the Max Aether to, like, replenish before Alicia. What was up? You uh, you were paralyzed on Ali on Alicia as well, and then you kind of just let it go for a few turns, and then healed afterwards. What was up with that? Yeah, I wasn't really sure what was gonna be faster there. Like, if I had to do multiple status heals, or if I like just yoloed and got lucky. I decided to just yolo anyway. Like, Torin, I guess, could be nice to get, but having HP that's high enough to tank a move on Martha also wasn't bad. So I I just decided to bite through and like. Hope for good luck anyway, since uh, I knew Wave was on a good run. He he had passed me up by that time. I had a bad yeah. uh, rival, and then, yeah, you got the bike first. Yeah, you were about, I want to say, like, maybe 20, 30 seconds behind. It was pretty bike close. Yeah. You kept it close that whole race. I just... I just full risked everything, and it worked out. I was so happy to see Lumberry finally get pulled out. Yeah. Uh, also, in my opinion, your biggest mistake was not going and buying more X items and restarting the Elite Four when you died to Lance, because you absolutely would have won if I died <laughs> we to also, Lance. We also I, said that. <laughs> yeah. I would, once I saw that you were out, I was like, all right, no regrets, full sending here. There's literally no downside. <laughs> it does feel a bit demeaning to have to go and start all again to then just watch you finish, which is the most yeah. likely outcome anyway. So. Yeah, I only would have done it had like Wave also had a restart, and then we just straight but then up we like, it just comes tied. to E4 RNG. <laughs> yeah, but and that would have been comes down to E4 RNG. Yeah. <laughs> you could have had a fight lead. Eh. Anyway, yes, I also did Lumberry strats because Poke Guy pointed it out to me, and I realized, wait, that's actually insane in a race for Koga. Yeah, for so, yeah. Koga, yeah, for, for multiple doesn't... fights. Even if it doesn't Sabrina work, Sabrina is the other one that uh, it helps on. Really. And Erica, even you can just go for the blizzards. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, at my health, I couldn't. I was dead to. Uh, yeah. Wild Bloom, but... It's it's more situational on Erica for yeah. sure, but even I, I think it's worth it even just for Koga. Even if it was a Petra Berry there, you get that for sure. Mm -hmm. And it uh, it came through <laughs> on this race. I was surprised he even went for it. I like I didn't even know it was being talked about, and I knew about the location of that Lumberry, but I just always thought it was too slow. I was like, eh. But you did have a like decent enough lead where I mean, like you still had it, a at least a thirty second lead after grabbing it. It's a risk mitigation in a race. It's generally worth it because it's of how you're changing Koga, which is like the worst fight in the entire run, and it's crazy slow if you die to into a very likely win. Like, you're only dead to muck shenanigans or getting crit by sludge, basically. Yeah, it's also honestly... probably not worth it if you've got the person berry still attached. Like, the fact that you either... Yeah, I don't know probably, if you picked it up or used it, but... That's why I only get, uh, that's why I only run squirtles that don't need the person berry. Uh, yeah, it was, it was really interesting, too, because, uh, if you had... If you didn't have the one berry, you definitely would have died there. You would have lost a lot more time, and it would have been a much closer race, Yes. even by that is, point. Which is why I got the Lumberry. It let me skip the save and skip reviving and all that fun stuff. I was hoping around self-rival it was gonna get really close. Because I think it was around a 30 second difference, and I had the Carbos uh, mm -hmm. advantage, and then I got crit uh, by Pidgeot, which was unfortunate, because then 
I not only did I have to heal, but then I couldn't get back into good torrent, and I had a. Eventually, I guess like I risk seismic toss on Machoke. I mean, I didn't really know what to do for damage at that point. I had expect on Kanga, hoping for damage in a tail whip. I yeah, forgot. Like, we yeah. missed, so the stream went down right as you were as Kanga came out on Geo. So we had no idea where you were trying to get damage from. We missed all of that mm -hmm. section. Yeah, I was just hoping for fake out and I expect and instead I like literally got the one in four move that wouldn't have saved me. Because rage fake out or mega punch would have been totally fine. Yeah, but like I wanna talk about my Brock split and my moon <laughs> in route three, where I got a seventy-eight percent breakout. Um I didn't get poisoned by seeing you, so I had bad health. Got better health from catching a Pidgey, but still had bad health. Got double scratched by Sandshrew for bad HP. Healed on Brock. Got Bind Miss, Bind Tackle Miss after the Rock Tomb. So I had no Torrent going into Route 3. Oh, you were the Tackle Miss, eh? Yeah, yeah the Tackle Miss was... And then, uh... Colton was a bit slow, but it got me into low enough Torrent. And then I was like, oh, I'm poisoned. I'll just let it tick a couple bit and I'll get low enough health. Uh, to get torrent through the evolution. Uh, I was one health too high. So uh, that didn't work out. And then I got to Rattata tail whipped, because of course it did. Yeah. And then I uh, I missed the coughing rage. <laughs> so, oh, like, yeah, that's right. Missing the coughing range is so annoying. <laughs> I, like, I just got, I was so far behind going, leaving Moon and what happened to matching us on Misty? Was like, um, I, I was ahead of him by Misty. Oh, we had to get Paris, oh, it and it took Paris. three balls. Like, yeah. Yeah. I noticed he was yeah. running Fire Red, and that made me laugh. He doesn't have a Leaf Green cart. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. So, someone donate this man. Have... Yeah, someone donate this man a Leaf Green cart and a computer that can actually stream. <laughs> <laughs> One day. One day. He, he's made it pretty far with just Fire Red, so... Yep. Yeah, it's crazy to think, like, the early game, and the early game still, like, you guys had 26s, I think, 26s and 27s? I had a 27 Misty, yeah. Yeah, which still for, like, for a race isn't even that, that bad. But, like, you guys were just pacing the whole way through. It was, it was honestly mm. really great to watch, just all just all three players at such a high level of gameplay i didn't make any monumental mistakes that run i forgot to save for sandy but at bubbles i was probably fine uh i didn't make any monumental mistakes but i made a lot of little mistakes that started to add up <laughs> after after giovanni won i forgot that i had to go fight surge so i potioned because i thought i was going to uh lavender rival and i was like oh shit i have surge and now i'm out of torrent yeah and then pointed that one out as muscle memory Yep. Um, and then... I finally remembered this run to start preparing for Bruno during the Giovanni split, when nothing's going <laughs> on. Which is oh, how I knew the... that 47 was good. That's the god strat for, uh, for any runs, is just to open Notepad during the Geo split and write down all the ranges. <laughs> yeah. Math right, Genius in chat saying but heal skip was gonna work too. Which was crazy because it literally almost did if he just had the elixir. Because, like, both him and Wave, we were all, like, so close to each other. We were very close, yeah. By the time we left boat. I had an insane boat rival. And then Mockwing, you had a not great one. Yeah, you were, so, you were yeah, behind him at boat, boat rival, brought you back ahead. Yep, I got Pidgeot, Pidgeot of a flinch. Hit the mega kick, leech seed, hit the mega kick, and then I let my health drain down while I finished the fight. And then you saw the turn on rat on rat, right? Yeah. And that gave me just enough damage basically. Yeah, and it honestly like was the difference because um you had good torrent for basically the entire run after that. And Mark for some Wayne reason, uh, did not. For some reason Bulbasaur didn't raise relief on Martha, so I lived. But I mean, that Martha is literally why you pick up the revive. Oh, yeah. In my opinion. It's, it's, it's Martha or like Rival 2. Yeah. Yeah, unless there's uh, anything else to go over, guys. I think that was an excellent race. Well done.
Congrats again, Wave, for making it to the finals. And commiserations, Macro and Math Genius. Yeah, Gigi, you better not beat this race time in the finals. <laughs> but there's could an entire other finish. semi-final that somebody could do it, totally, guys. Yeah. <laughs> By the way. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, our final, the semi-finals tomorrow are, um, over well, four hours before now, time-wise. I don't know what that actually is in time zones, because time zones... 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or Eastern Time, so... 5 p.m. British time. Which only applies to Jordan, who's also in this call. <laughs> but yeah. Unless Anna there's anything else? Anna has a threatening aura in chat. <laughs> He's gonna pop out the 201 late surge before the finals race. That seems What's unreasonable. The... Uh -huh. What's the best... The best tournament time we've had is Cougars 203, isn't it? Like, overall. Yeah, it's the best tournament time we've ever had. Yeah. Damn. Who I thought it's going to be a rough one to beat. Like, I feel like that's probably going to be the best time, with two races left. Who knows? We'll see what Ann and Ann tries to do. Yeah. I'm just full send during finals again. Surely I'll get two runs in a row that just get no deaths. Golly will clueless. Of course. <laughs> this one 204, so the next one could 202. Yeah. I, uh... I lost my train of thought in mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right. I think that's about it for us here. Uh, we will be back tomorrow for the final race of the semifinals at 12 p.m. Eastern with who is it? Amoeba, Randall, and Ekman? Ekman. Right? Yep. Yes. So until then, thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you guys pretty soon.